yet Copenhagen, which all the reporters are now saying it's Copenhagen. No, it's not. It's Copenhagen. When you start calling it Hagen Doss, I'll start calling it ha Copenhagen. Until that time, I'm sticking with the old American way. Copenhagen is there to save the world. The president is, is going to be heading there, but first, he, so, you know, he's just stopped by to accept that Nobel Peace Prize in Norway. Um, I guess he's going to give the, the prize money to charity, which I can't really understand, because if he really wants to help charities, he should stop punishing people who give charitable donations, you know? And if he were consistent, he should just give all that prize money to the government. Just pay it to the IRS, because... AmeriCorps is such a good charity. Anyway, over in Copenhagen, they are going to fix the planet. Yeah, and they've developed this new video showing, uh, you know, they showed it at the opening ceremony for the climate change conference. It's fantastic. Fox business anchor John Stossel is here. Brand new show going to uh, premiere tonight on Fox Business at 8 o'clock. You excited? I am. My yeah. first Fox, my own show on Fox. Wow. You nervous? Yes, because I like to script things like I used to do at 2020. No. This is uncontrolled live yeah. audience. Yeah, this is just... And, and what if I'm not good at it? What if I made a bad move? We could do an expose on you. Wouldn't that be great? No. You'll be fine. Look, the global warming thing is what you... This is your first show. That's my first warming? show. We picked global warming. <sighs> Let me show... Let's watch this together. Well, this is one reason. This is disgusting what they did. Set it up. At the beginning of the conference, they played this video. Where do we look? Watch this. Watch this. This is great. Here's a little kid. She's crying. These are supposed to be responsible people. Okay. She's sleeping in her bed and she's crying. For the love of Pete. She's waking up. Uh-oh. She's with a polar bear. Her little polar bear. And she looks like she's in a desert. A parched, global warming destroyed she desert. No. She doesn't know where she. What's going to happen, John? I'm so intrigued. This is what people flew all around the world to watch? They did. Yeah. And took limousines to see. Uh oh. Are all of her friends dead? This is our future. Do you know? Oh, oh my goodness. What's just happened? Oh my goodness. She's, did the polar bear just fall into the crack? I can't, wow. <laughs> the polar bear, when will we stop killing real and fake polar bears? Now, is that's not Oz, is it? Is Oz being destroyed by the tornado? And how? The now fire. the water is rising. Now the fiery flood comes. Greenland has melted. Yes. Okay, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. Okay, so this is what the world leaders are watching. This kind of irresponsibility. Look, I, I, globe, the globe has warmed. A lot of very serious people believe that we humans are playing a part or are sure. at fault and greenhouse gases we've clearly increased the carbon dioxide quantity maybe this will raise the temperature but to equate this with this child screaming yeah and well hang on death of the world hang on just a second you're not claiming that this is some sort of fear-mongering are you yes this is <laughs> also <laughs> i just love john stossel you're the best man yes it is fear-mongering Horrible, disgusting Do you fear know how many that... people have their kids? I'd love to hear from uh, uh, viewers. How many people have had their kids come home? Because this ends up as it's just a dream. And it's just, oh, it's just a dream. And then she goes to daddy at night like, daddy, I'm so afraid. The planet's going to die. And then they go and they click on the website and figure out that if you just don't take air travel, it'll be okay. Um, and so and she also says, <laughs> we must act. We must. We act. We, we can act. prevent yes. this. Okay. Um, you have a green phone. Is this? <laughs> okay. I shamelessly copied you, and yeah. on my show tonight, we're inviting Al Gore. Won't debate anybody. I know. Uh -huh. He's been invited. We invited him. He, they sent a very nice letter saying, "Oh, he's just so busy." So this with is the Al Gore phone. This is the Al Gore. This is the phone. White House phone. That's come here. Right. Come here. Come here. Watch this. Watch this. When you're done with the green phone. I'd like to put them both there. 
and we'll have it the Santa phone. He can call at any time. Um, okay, so uh, he's not going to call. The White House doesn't call either. Well, I'm still hopeful he will call. Uh, he sent a very nice letter. He was just too busy because really? of the demands of But he'd like change. to meet with you because you're a reasonable journalist. And he has time to go on Saturday night live yeah, and but programs. Not, not to have no, a serious talk with a, a real journalist. With anyone who would be serious discussing climate change. John, they are just jamming things through. This EPA thing is nonsense. It's craziness. It's crazy. And to people quote are Michael so Jackson. confused about carbon dioxide. They're calling it a pollutant. A pollutant is soot and sulfur dioxide and the stuff that makes the air black and our lungs black and hurts us. Carbon dioxide is air. It's the stuff of life. <laughs> right. Only now, as a greenhouse gas, it may be a problem, but to call it a pollutant right. that these guys are going to regulate. Right. Well, stop breathing. If we just stop all the conservatives oh, or libertarians... Just exhaling. You can inhale. Yeah, you can inhale. Just no more exhale. Okay, good. Um, could I just show one more clip? Yeah, you know the golf cart thing. What the... What is this? I bought a golf cart, and you paid for it. It's free. This is, an, this is an example of the idiocy of our government's policies in the name of global warming. Subsidies for electric cars, and the result... Is that you bought that with my tax dollars? I did. It cost six thousand four hundred dollars, but there's a six thousand four hundred dollar federal tax credit. So this car dealer advertises free golf carts. What a deal! You can buy as many Un as you want. Hold on, back in just a second. Unbelievable. Students stripped of constitutional rights. Next.